Thanks for coming back. This is US Agent 27 from the MUCollectorClub.com forums. I'm back with another haul video. This haul video today is actually going to be a little bit longer um, than the other haul videos. I have what I consider, anyway, a, a mega haul to show you guys. I'm very, very excited. Uh, if you are on the forums, you probably know what you're going to see. But, you know, I hope you stick around and watch it anyway, just, you know, just for fun. Um, but the first thing I have up is Amazon did this really great sale uh, last week or this actually early, earlier this week, where they put a bunch of the Marvel Legends figures on sale for like eight bucks. Um, I have a Prime membership, so uh, Shockwave from our forums threw up a message saying, hey, can anyone, uh, you know, I'll PayPal you, but can you, you know, use your credit card and just have it shipped to me? So I did that for him, and he got his on Tuesday. This one actually is for a local collector in my area, RoboGeek, who I trade with quite a bit. Um, you know, he did the same thing. You know, he said, "Hey, can you order it?" And I'll just PayPal you the cash. You know, so I went ahead and ordered uh, two U.S. agents. They both got there on Tuesday. So Robo Geek, uh, he'll be getting this on Saturday. He's got a little bit of a wait yet to get to it, but it's well worth it. This is a great figure. If you guys don't have this U.S. Agent 27 or U.S. Agent, you're missing out. Um, and I should know, I'm a U.S. Agent fan. So hey, take it for what it is. He's a cool figure. I did do a review of him. It was actually the first Marvel Legends review I ever did. Um, it's probably pretty crappy compared to the later ones I did, but uh, definitely a dope, dope figure. Go get it. And it was cheap. Like Amazon, it was like uh, $7.95. All right, so with that being said, uh, we're going to go on to our next items. So the last haul video I recorded, I told you I was waiting on the UPS truck to kind of get here. And the reason why I was waiting is because I was waiting for the uh, Fist of Clay 2-pack, which was basically the uh, clay face and then a Muddy Batman. Now, the Muddy Batman, um, I didn't really want that, that figure, but I ordered it because I made a deal with a guy on our forums, uh, Rothgars, or Hofgars, however you say it, for the modern Batman. This is from the Batman Legacy series that came out. Now, I have switched the head on this. I took the head off of the Fist of Clay and put it on here. I think this head looks much better. The other head that was on here, he was just kind of angry and kind of screaming. He looked like he was drunk, Batman. Um, this, this face definitely looks better, and I, I love this mold. Um, I think that they did a really great job with it. I actually really, really dig the way the cape is. Um, this is probably my favorite Batman figure I've gotten yet. And I think this head looks great on him. So... It, I mean, it's perfect sa scale and size, so I, I really do like this. And anyone can do it. You just have to pop the head off and drill a little bit into this one so it'll fit correctly. So I got those two items. And then I went out into my, my local um, Walmarts and I found a Dove figure. Let the camera focus. So I wanted the Dove. I already bought a Hawk. I decided I was going to go ahead and buy the both of them. Um, she's not a bad figure. I usually have her on a flight stand. I have a little bit of paint splotch right there, which I'm not very happy about, but, you know, I usually have her, her legs kind of turned up anyway, so you don't see it. Um, I really wanted her for the, Nec the Necron part. Necron was the Build-A-Figure from this wave. Uh, it's the last Build-A-Figure we're getting with the DC Classics. So I got that. And as soon as I got that, that basically brought me up to, I think, uh, three or four... I needed three more pieces for Necron. I needed the White Lantern Flash, I needed the green arrow and the reverse flash. So what I did is I threw basically an SOS out on our forums asking if anyone could help me find them. And Alchemist from our forums, actually we did a trade. I sent him a bunch of figures for customs that he's going to be working on. And he sent me the white lantern flash. So I have the White Lantern Flash. He sent me this with the, the uh, part I needed. So that was one thing I got. And then Evil Animation, who is actually our um, the owner of MUCollectorClub.com, actually, uh, an administrator, he, at his local Walmart, they still had this wave. So he, he went out and grabbed me the Reverse Flash that I needed. So I got the Reverse Flash as well as the green arrow. And if you notice, I already cut off the, the arrow head on there. I hate that they do that. So I cut that off and modded it a little bit just like I did the other green arrow. Really cool figure, so I got those. So with those three figures uh, in hand, I'll set him down. 
I was able to complete my Necron, which is actually the first build a figure that I've actually been able to complete. Um, if you guys watched the last video, I think I talked about it. The uh, Stell Wave is coming. It's not here yet. Probably Saturday. So Necron is the very first build a figure, and I gotta say, I I really do like it. I mean, he's a cool looking figure. The only thing I didn't like is, you see how he's got those open hands like that? They didn't give him his uh, scythe or Sith or whatever you want to call it, his staff basically. Um, so I'm gonna have to see if I can, you know, kind of put something together for that because he just looks kind of weird with nothing in his hands like that. Really cool figure though. Glad I glad I picked him up. So that was basically from some members on our forums. Then, I found a really, really great deal on eBay for a Teen Titans bot. And I'm going to show you all the figures that I got, and I'll tell you how much I paid for it at the end. Alright, so the first figure I got was Cyborg. And Cyborg does have his other fist pieces, which I'll show off. Next figure I got was uh, Donna Troy or Wonder Girl or whatever you want to call her. I don't know what she really goes by anymore. Next one I got was Raven. The next one I got was Starfire. I'm trying to get these all on camera so you guys can kind of see. And of course I'm trying to do this one-handed. There we go. Starfire. Next one I got was Kid Flash. And this is the DCUC version of Kid Flash, not the Young Justice version. I know there's two. And then the next version I got, the next character I got, I should say, um, was Blue Beetle. Now this is the new Blue Beetle. And he did come with all his accessories. All these characters came with all their accessories, which is cool. So like Blue Beetle, for example, has his wings. So set those over there. Um, next character I got was Beast Boy, and Beast Boy did come with his little uh, green stand and green um, eagle to represent him when he's like in, in eagle mode. So I did get that too. And just real quick to show these off, this is what came with uh, Cyborg, so that just pops on his hand. There's the other one that pops on his hand. And then the last figure in that lot was actually the Wave 3 Robin. So let me just back up a little bit so you guys can see all this. These all came in one lot. So there's one, two, three, four, four. There's a total of eight figures here. I paid $10 a piece for these. Uh, it was $80 shipped to my house to get these figures. Um, so I think that was a phenomenal deal on my part. I, I'm very, 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 very glad I got these. Um, you know, I I just started collecting DC Universe. I think I'm already up to somewhere over 50, 60 figures already. I just started. So, and to have this many this quick, um, I know some people in the community are a little uh, jealous. And what I say is just don't be. You know, I, I just got really lucky. You know, I happened to see this auction and... You know, I pray no one else was going to buy it while I was waiting. I happened to get it. So, that was that lot. Sorry guys, let me just put some stuff away while we're talking here. Alright, and the next thing I got, and this is from Amazon. In anticipation of the Stell Wave, the Stell Wave I ordered actually was missing this one figure. And I needed it for the Build-A-Figure piece. I got this Sodom Yacht. I think that's how you say it. And it comes with the interchangeable hand. So you just pop his hand right off and put this one in. And I think this is kind of cool. Um, I really dig how it's got the, uh, the lantern symbol kind of like coming out. It's in a clear plastic. That's pretty cool. So I'm not sure how I'm going to display him yet. So I just I pop the other hand on for now just so he saves room in a box. But I got him and he was like 15 bucks. So that was a good deal. All right. So that brings me pretty much up to date with most of my, well, I should say almost all my eBay purchases because I did get some more stuff in. Um, 
so what had happened was this. I'll, I'll show the rest of the stuff I got from eBay today, and then I'll, I'll talk about the, the last part, which is the Mega Haul. So here's what came in today. I got the original Blue Beetle, complete. And then I also got Man Bat. Man Bat is such an awesome figure. Um, very articulated. I love the wings on him. He just looks badass. I actually scared my girlfriend with it. It was pretty funny. So I got Man Bat. Those two came today, and those were both from eBay. Alright, so now I can talk about the story. So on our forums, what we try to do is we try to look out for each other. Um, and one way we do that is we check eBay for each other. So I had gotten a Nightwing, I think, about a week ago. And when I had gotten it, a couple people posted that they were looking for one. One of those people is from our forums. His name is Jay Bird. He said he was looking for a Nightwing. So when I saw an auction that was ending, and it was like, a, I think, 4 or $5 when I saw it, and the auction was actually in my backyard, it, literally. It was, you know, about 15 minutes away from where I live. Um, I contacted the seller and asked if they would do a local pickup because they were charging $10 for shipping. And I knew I could do better for them. So they said, yeah, sure, that's no problem. So he ended up getting this figure for $11.50. Now it is missing one of the little sticks there. So if you guys have that and you want to, you know, trade it or something or sell it, you know, shoot me a message and let Jaybird know on our forums. He could definitely use it. So I got this for $11.50. Now when I went and picked it up, um, I talked to the, to the woman I bought it from, and she said she had a box of DCUC figures. Now me just being getting into the, collecting them, I was like, okay, well, what do you have? Well, her and I went back and forth a couple of times. Uh, one of the first things I asked for was for Bane parts because I was trying to build a Bane. She actually said she had an, a Bane complete. And I said, okay, I definitely want that. Um, and then she also said she had a Red Robin, which I also know that Jaybird was also looking for. So I immediately grabbed those two and put those on reserve. Uh, the Bane for myself, the Red Robin for him. And then she sent me a list of a bunch of other figures, which I'm going to kind of show you. So this one's for Jaybird, and we'll go over his figures first. So Jaybird got that one. Yeah, and that one was like 11.50. Uh, Jaybird also is getting the Red Robin, which is the same figure I actually just got. Which Jaybird, this is a really great figure, man. You're gonna love it. Uh, very nice uh, scale. It scales very well with Batman. So he got this one. Unfortunately, he didn't come with any accessories. That was kind of a bummer. But he was 10 bucks. Then he also got the other Robin. This is the Dick Grayson version of the classic Robin costume. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with his accessories. Uh, maybe someone on the forums has them for us. But he was $5. dollars <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That was one thing he got. But it doesn't stop there. Sorry, I'm sh I should have opened all these bags before I recorded, but I didn't. So then... He also got the DC Super Heroes Joker, and he does have his cane. It's in the bag. I'm not going to pull that out real quick. Uh, so he's got that. He also got this one, um, which I was actually going to get this figure, and now I kind of wish I had. Uh, the DC Super Heroes Classic Batman with that funky belt. Really cool looking figure. I know they make a variant. Um, and actually, the first figure I showed you is actually just a repaint of this exact figure, but I really I really dig this paint scheme. So, very cool. I'm, I'm really glad he got that. I'm glad he picked it up so I can actually see it before I send it out. So, he got those two. But wait, there's more. Alright, then, I think these are the last ones. He also grabbed a just a classic Batman black and gray. Gotta have that. And then the last one he grabbed was the the Young Justice Batman. Which is actually not a bad sculpt. This is the first time I've ever seen one up close. These were very hard to find in the stores. It's not a bad Batman. I may actually have to order one from China now because I kind of want one. Um, very cool figure, but... I like the way the cape is on him compared to the other Batmans. Very nice. So these are all going to be going out to Jaybird. I'll probably try to ship them tomorrow. Um, if not tomorrow, then the day after. And I'll throw in maybe another freebie in the box, Jay. So be on the lookout for that. Alright. So that's what Jaybird got. And 
everything I showed you except for that, that first robin was literally um, five bucks a piece. All right, so now we're gonna come up to my haul and I'm gonna save the best one for last. So the first figure I grabbed, and like I said, the, the woman had quite a few. I grabbed the Batman Legacy Modern Batman. You guys are probably saying, well, why'd you grab another one? Well, for real, I wanted to kind of show the difference. This is the same exact figure, but look at the head sculpts. Well, maybe if he doesn't fall down. All right, let's see if you guys can kind of focus that. So we have an angry face Batman and we have a normal face Batman over here. Um, same exact figure, just two different looks to them. The reason why I grabbed this one is I figure, you know, if this one ever breaks or anything like that, I'd like to have a backup. Um, so I grabbed this figure and I also grabbed the clay face Batman which is where I stole the head from for the other one. So now I have a backup solution in case. Or, you know, if someone on the forum sees it, and like, hey, you know what, I really like what you do with that custom. Can you make me one? I have the, the two Batmans to do it. So if anyone's interested, let me know. I'll definitely do it, and he'll look like this, which I think is a great Batman. I grab those. I grabbed Two-Face from that uh, Gotham City Crime 5-pack. And this is more of the classic Two-Face, um, which I actually kind of dig. You know, I kind of like the classic Two-Face. I think he looks kind of cool. So, I grabbed him. I'm just going to set these off to the side. I grabbed the other Wave 16 or Batman Wave Robin. And this is the one that's supposedly is supposed to be like Jason Todd or the, uh, the original, <coughs> excuse me, classic Robin. So I grabbed that. And five bucks. I grabbed a Superboy. This is the uh, the older Superboy, not the newer one from the Young Justice cartoon. And he's got the little S in the back, and he looks pretty cool. He was five bucks, so I said, "Why not?" I grabbed Catwoman, also from that f that five pack, with the purple paint. Um, at first, I wasn't really digging the purple, but I actually kind of dig it. This reminds me more of the comic books when I was growing up, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, I thought about repainting it black, but I think I'm going to keep it purple for now. She doesn't have her whip. If anyone has an extra whip that they're not using, yes, let the jokes fly. Uh, please send it my way. Grab that. Alright, I grabbed a Mongol, which he is a tall figure. Damn. Uh, he's got, like, pearlescent pink boots. But he looks cool. He's a Superman villain, from what I know. Uh, again, I'm not as familiar with DC as I am Marvel. I know some of the stuff. I haven't read it in years. I'm starting to read the Green Lantern stuff now, so... I'm trying to catch up. I grabbed him. Okay. Five bucks. And I grabbed what I think is going to be my display Superman. And I think... They said this was the Toys R Us Superman, but I don't really know. Um, let's just check out the head sculpt. Maybe you guys can help me identify it. I think it looks cool. You know, I mean, to me, that's Superman. And, check it out. He's got the S on the back. Not a lot of Supermans have that anymore, I guess, from what I've been reading. But I actually dig this Superman, so he's going to be my default Superman. Alright, I'm almost at the end. Azrael Batman. Really stoked to get this figure. Uh, this was one I didn't think I was going to be able to get because he is expensive, especially because he comes with main parts and mitten package, and even Lusa he goes for a little bit. Five bucks. All right, we're getting towards the end. Green Lantern, and this is, he has the gray on the temples. I think this is from the five pack, if I'm not mistaken. So now I have a Hal Jordan. I would have preferred a how without the gray. Um, I may paint that, or I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Um, I haven't decided yet. I would really like the, uh, the I think it's the Wave 3, or Wave, yeah, I think it's Wave 3, Hal Jordan, but we'll see. All right, and then this one, she just kind of threw in. I don't know, I'm not very familiar with this Batman. Uh, I have no interest in keeping it, so if anyone really 
wants to trade for it or buy it or whatever, let me know. Really cool. Um, he's got some funky hand joints. You can go out like that and be like, hey, what are you doing? And this one, he's got kind of like a trigger finger and it goes back and forth. He's got the funky waist swivel there. No, he doesn't have the regular DC stuff. He just has up and down. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with him yet. Um, if anyone's really interested in this one, definitely let me know. I'll let him go cheap. All right, and the next two um, I thought were something different, but they're apparently uh, these are, I guess, DC Directs, maybe? But it's Batman and Robin. And if you notice, I have the cloth cape. I thought these were from the uh, Toys R Us 2-pack, but they're not. So again, if anyone really wants these, all of them go really super cheap. I'm talking like you pretty much just pay shipping and, you know, we'll call it a day. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. So I got these. All right. And the last piece I got. So keep in mind, everything that I got was five bucks a piece, except for this one. Bane. Bane. Sorry, just trying to get him set up. Yep, that's right. I got Bane. Twenty-five dollars for Bane. A great, great, phenomenal buy. So altogether, the entire lot was uh, one twenty. Um, and then Jaybird's portion, he's paying me tonight, and then I, I pay, bought the rest. Um, again, I haven't really decided what I'm keeping, what I'm not. Uh, most of them I'm gonna keep. There will be a couple pieces I'm gonna throw up in my. Uh, trade list which will be on mucollectorclub.com make sure you come check it out anyway guys that's my it for my haul video um i know it was a lot i haven't done one in a day or two but as you can see i'm going heavily into dc just trying to get as many figures as i can as quickly as i can to get my collection up there so i can do some uh cool picks all right guys that's it uh leave me a comment uh rate the video please subscribe if you haven't already all right take it easy guys this is us agent 27 from mucollectorclub.com